Uh, how's everyone doing? <laughs> so, it's been a true whirlwind for you. You, you come in, they've already had three spring practices. Describe what it's been like for you since you arrived here. Uh, it's been great. Like like you said, it's been a little bit of a, a whirlwind. And, um, you know, I knew, I knew spring practice was going on. So uh, getting here Friday, it was, it was really just preparing for that, that Saturday practice and, and uh, going for it. Um, but uh, it's, been, it's been a great experience so far. Uh, the players uh, work their tails off and, and are always willing to, to put in the extra work to get better. When they contacted you about the position, what were your, what were your, your first thoughts about, about this? Uh, I mean, it's a great, a great opportunity to, to have your own position room. Um, uh, another opportunity, I, you know, I had a chance to get to know uh, Coach Long um, when he was at Notre Dame, when I would come back and, and work camps. Um, and so just knowing that, having the opportunity to work for him and, and Coach Fritz after talking with him, just a, a great, great opportunity. What's the reception from the players been like? It's obviously a little turbulent for, for those guys having uh, their, their guy who's just been hired just leave on them suddenly. Yeah. And I know in some of these these players, they've had multiple offensive line coaches over the last few years. And, and I told them, hey, it was it was a similar situation that I had for myself as a player at Notre Dame. I was recruited by uh, one guy who left before I got to school um, and then had another coach for a year and then two more coaches after that. So I was I had, I had pretty much had four coaches as well. So just just having that experience as a player, I know I know it can be tough hearing different voices at times, you know, from time to time. Um, so just making sure I'm communicating effectively to them on, on what I want to see and just being consistent day after day with uh, just how I'm seeing things and, and what I expect of them. What are your impressions, early impressions of the guys you've, you've been carrying? I think eight linemen started at least a couple of games last year that are, that are, that are back this year for this team. And some young guys, that your freshmen, they're pretty good too. Yeah, no, it's been great. Uh, really young group when you look at the board and you look at those extra years just because of the uh, the pandemic. You know, really, really young group and a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity to get better. Um, uh, obviously, a, a lot of guards inside um, would like a little bit more, I guess, you know, length and bodies outside. But those guys just worked their tails off ever since you know I've gotten here and just things that I've heard before. Um, they did a great job this off season, and uh, they're always just really looking at. How, how can I get better each and every day? You know, I, I like to tell them, hey, I'm going to point out the things that I see uh, that I see that are fundamentally wrong, or whether it's that effort. Uh, but you as a player, hey, just pick out one thing each and every day that you want to work on, and you just attack that problem until you get better at it. Are you are you 30? Or you... I'm 30, yeah. <laughs> how much do you think it I think the last offensive line coach last year for them was maybe younger than that, or right around there. But how much do you feel like the fact that you've just been there and done that, been to the NFL, you can can help the guys to know that just a few years ago you were in the position where they want to get to? Yeah. No, I, I, think, I think it helps a lot, just uh, at least just from like a confidence standpoint. They Just knowing that they know that I've done it and, and been through the same things. Like, I, I know the, the drills that we do and, and how hard that we go. And I know when they're tired. But just uh, I know that it, it's it's good for them to just, just I think you know, have a guy that has been through the the ringer and um, you know someone they can rely on in, in in different situations when they're when they're seeing things they know that it hasn't been that long ago that that I was you know seeing the same things and potentially maybe having the same issues as well. And, and I guess your, your NFL career ended in New Orleans. You came here, and it, was it was it knee problems that made you made you hang it up? What was that experience like? I know it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So in San Diego, uh, got released with a failed physical, um, you know, after three years, uh, and was it was hard to find a team just because of the injury and wasn't able to sign a contract just because uh, I kept failing physicals at different places. And the Saints gave me a chance with some stipulations in the contract, um, but knee and shoulder were just not. I wouldn't have been able to to compete every day and didn't have the veteran type status where you can really sit out and, and really at offensive line you need those physical reps each and every day to get better and be able to feel it just to perform on on Sundays or Saturdays um, but it is uh, it is interesting being back starting really my my coaching career at a place where I ended my playing career <laughs> um, how hard how, how tough was the 
transition for you at the time? Obviously, you figured your, your career ended prematurely with, with, with the injury. Did, was it tough, or did, how, how did you handle that? From a, just from a player to normal? Yeah, like player to, to yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's hard for everyone because for the most part, besides very few people, it ends before you really want it to. Um, at, at the beginning, there's there's some excitement, just kind of wondering what you're going to be doing next. But then there's always, I think, a lull where, hey, I'm missing, you know, this about the sport. And for me, it was always the group and and, and your teammates and just being in the locker room and those experiences that you the experiences that you go through that just bond the whole group. Um, and so that just, I think with that, I just wanted to get back in the game in some shape or form. And that's what kind of drove me back into coaching. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time. Yeah.